Bruce. I mean, you got the whole uh, Robert Plant thing going on. You yeah. know, I was watching the watching yeah. the show, yeah. and it was at times it was like, man, I've seen Robert Plant do that exact same move in that exact same location yeah. on the stage. Yeah. And and you know, yeah. how important do you think it is to actually not just do musically I, I think, production, but I, I, I don't want to. I mean, as, as one individual, but we're a band, of course, and we, we play together musically. But like, I don't want to cheat anyone from the experience of this whole thing. I, mean, I don't. I don't know. I, I don't. I don't go see. Tribute bands or cover bands, but like as far as we're concerned, is where where we want to be at. I'll give everything. So I watch video. I listen. You know, I listen to live recordings. We're we're, we're total dork with this whole thing, but like you know, live yeah. theater. Yeah, it is. It's it like, is. It's like, it's like, it's like, That was like a phenomenal highlight of the night. Uh, Paul, is that from a, from a live reproduction of one of the Zeppelin shows, or is it something you guys just jammed with and then created, or how did that, how did Days of Confused specifically come about? Well, it's different every night, and that's probably the best showcase that we have for Zeppelin improvisation. We're making it up as we go, but that's the way that lets You have a very tough job of, of you know, imitating or, or Emulating, emulating. Uh, yeah. you know, Channeling. John Bonham. So, um, as John Bonham sitting up on the stage, yeah, what, what do you think is the hardest Led Zeppelin song to 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 play? Aside from Moby Dick, obviously, because that, that's the spotlight is on you. But aside from Moby Dick, what is the hardest John Bonham song that you can think that that, that, that you have to do? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, well, all of, there's there's a lot of songs that have um, lots of parts that are. Uh, I mean. It's, it may sound silly, but Black Dog, that guitar, that um, the interplay between the guitar part and I mean, it's not hard for me to play, but it's a thing. It's a song that, to me, encompasses what uh, Bonham was for that band, where he could take a groove. There's one way that you could approach that song. It's basically a standard kind of bluesy riff, but he took a twist and turned the beat around and turned the beat around on itself in relation to the guitar, and he can. He does that through all of their music, and there's things that if you know you're just playing a standard kind of rock beat, you know you get this kind of muscle memory going, and you know you just been just like I've been playing for a long time, and I have that, and then all of a sudden I'm gonna start playing in this band, and it's all of a sudden wait a minute that that part doesn't go there. I I, I would do this naturally, but he does it this way, so I don't really. Have that Zeppelin reunion. Do you think that would be a good thing, or would that tarnish the legacy of the greatest rock band of all time? What do you guys think? I appreciated the O2 show. I did, and I've watched. I watched a lot of it. I mean, I wasn't there, but I watched a lot of video of it. And uh, when it first happened, just being a critical musician, I, I mean, I want, I want them to be at their best. You know? But then, you know, so at first I was kind of like, uh, I want to say, but I went back. Personally, this is personally, you can go down the line. Yeah, yeah sure. Yeah. But I, there was there were some moments that were so amazing, so amazing. I don't care. Still, this, years later, I was like, well, if I had, had any possible reason to go see Jimmy Page and Robert Plant and try to pull Jones, you know, play live. Right. Of course, I would 
absolutely love to be there. So. Says, says the man that's dressed like this. <laughs> yeah. So there you have it. We'll, we'll all be there. We'll, we'll, we'll leave it at that. Uh, with, with Led Zeppelin's legacy uh, you know, in question for the future, we continue to look forward to bands like Led Zeppelin too to, to keep the spirit of law alive of rock and roll. Today uh, uh, at the at Lee's Palace in Toronto, they, they rocked a, a full house with a very young crowd. I must say I was very impressed with the, with the age uh, differential of the audience. Uh, guys, thank you and hope we hope to see you back again in Thanks, Toronto. Jerry. Thanks. Baby to 11 every night